Hello, this is the Patch Guy from thecheapplace.com. Today we're going to show you how to iron on a patch. To iron on a patch, we're going to need something to iron it onto. I have a denim material pair of pants over here. Um, you're going to need a good quality patch with iron-on backing on the back. It can't just be plastic backing. It actually has to have iron-on glue applied on the back of them. All our patches here at IMS Trading that we sell at thecheapplace.com come with plastic iron-on backing. And the iron-on glue is a Japanese brand glue. And it works the first time you iron it on. You just got to watch out for some of the settings. Um, we are going to go ahead and need a frying pan thermometer. A meat thermometer will not do as the temperature won't measure up to the required 270 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you look on the back of a thermometer, on this case, it tells you that it measures from minus 40 to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. So this should be a good enough thermometer to use. It was only $9.99 at Target. And the other essential item is a regular household iron. Just go ahead and make sure the steam setting is off. And we're going to go ahead and fiddle around with what right setting to use over here. Uh, we'll bring it to its minimum setting for now. And I will show you how to get it up to the correct temperature. To iron on the patch properly, I have a hard table, which I've laid a couple of t-shirts on top of. And I put my garment here. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and iron on the patch. Uh, you don't want to do it directly over a hard surface. Put a couple of t-shirts underneath it. That way when you're applying pressure with the iron, it spreads out more evenly. Um, what I'm going to do is set up my thermometer, frying pan thermometer like this. Put the iron on, crank it to its highest setting until my thermometer reads 270 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as it goes over 270 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to off. And then you'll wait till this thing starts to climb up and then it will stop climbing and it will start to decline at a slow rate. Once it hits 280 degrees Fahrenheit, go ahead and move the iron away. Place your patch where you want it and then go ahead and press it on. Again, do not let the iron on as that will let it dissipate heat very quickly. You want to stay within 260 to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're pressing on the patch, stand up and push. Don't be sitting down. You will not be able to get enough pressure on it. You just want to stand up and push real hard for 30 seconds or so while it's at the correct temperature. Once the garment is fully cooled down, we can go ahead and inspect the patch. Now, it is very important to be patient. Don't go fiddling around with it while it's hot or even warm. Make sure it's cooled down completely before you mess with it. I'm not trying to peel the patch off. I'm just bending the garment and I can see that stuck on really nicely. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day, ride safe and get your patches from thecheapplace.com. We make quality work. Bye now.